Welcome to a video tutorial on M3U Player. Your time is valuable, so let's get started right away. And the first thing I want to show you is how to change the theme color of the app. This is done by clicking Settings and selecting the preferred color, and then agreeing to close the app for the change to take effect. So when the app is relaunched, as you can see, the theme now is the uh, color that you selected earlier. The app has several screens, and uh, the way to navigate them is by using the next and uh, previous buttons, which are, as you can see, are located mid-height in the right and left sides of the app. This is the player screen, and uh, this is likely where you're going to be spending most of your time when using the app, because this is where you will be able to enjoy um, internet TV from. But you need channels for that. And uh, the objective is to populate the channel selector with as many channels as possible. And as you can see, this is a drop-down. So we are going to go ahead and do this uh, right now. So where does the app get the channel information from? Well, it gets this information from a special playlist file known as M3U8. And that's where its name com comes from. I mean, that's where the app's name comes from. These files contain information about online uh, video streaming and audio streaming sources, and uh, this app can read the format. How does it find these playlist files? Well, it can find them by doing its own internet search based on a word that you specify, or it can let you do your own search on the internet and then indicate uh, a certain playlist file that you may have found and allow it to process that, that file. Or if you have a playlist file stored in your, in your, in your local space, you can simply upload it to the, to, the, to the app and it will take it from there. Now suppose I want to watch Italian television. I mean, anything that's free and available on the internet. What I do is I enter a keyword, such as Italy, to indicate my, uh, my, um, my goal. And um, as for the rest of the settings, I leave them as is because I have found that when the country is set to United States and the language is set to English, the number of results tend to be greater than other um, permutations. But you are, of course, free to experiment. So in this case, you could just as well have left it to Italy and uh, set the language to, to Italian. Depth specifies the, the extent of the search. If, if a depth one search did not yield for me enough results, then I can select a, a depth two search, uh, a depth three search, and so on. Bear in mind, however, that even a depth one search can take upwards of 10 minutes. So this can be quite lengthy. This can be quite a lengthy process. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click search now. And off it goes to search for the appropriate uh, playlist files. I'm not going to have you stare at the screen for 10 minutes or more, so I'm going to pause the video now and uh, resume later on. Okay, see how fast it's doing it? Oh, I'm going to pause again. Okay, back. So several minutes later, I have several channels, and they're all unique, and they have all been tested, so they're valid. Uh, streaming may be a bit slow because I'm I, I, I'm away from Italy, but. Uh, Okay, and the player allows you to do several things, uh, rewind and fast forward and uh, change the rate. This may not work on all streaming uh, videos. And uh, choose full screen and, of course, regulate the, uh, the volume. Now, there is one screen after this, and this is the links or, or channels management screen. This is where you see a, a listing of the of the channels. The, on, on, on the left column you have the channel name 
and uh, on the right column uh, there is the link and uh, you do have some control over these you can actually modify them all you have to do is select one and do a right click and uh, you can enter a more user-friendly or more presentable channel name if you prefer because a lot of times the channel name can seem to be spammy it can contain characters that were not picked up by the by the software and uh, or it may have a name that is not as descriptive so you may want to edit it but you can't edit the uh, the URL and you don't want to actually now you can select all the channels um, at once and um, delete them individually you can uncheck the ones you don't want deleted and all the rest of them will be deleted and uh, or you can actually select all of them and then delete delete them all and um, exporting allows you to save this data so if you choose this option then the app goes ahead and creates a, a playlist file like the ones it found earlier and um, with all the all the channel information that appeared here okay now let's go back to the initial screen the first option was by far the easiest because all you did was you entered a keyword and then you let the art then you, you clicked search and then the app went ahead and um, looked for all the playlist files relevant to the keyword that you entered and uh, extracted all the all the information from those files and generated the channels but there are times when you may want to be more specific so in this case you can do your own search and um, once you click this you just wait for Google to load and once it does you can enter um, you need to enter some keywords for the search to be um, um, helpful and those keywords are M3U8XTINF. And then the keyword that you want, the playlist, you know, the type of television you're looking for. So let's say, once again, Italy. Then you click Enter. So now what you do is you go and investigate each of these search results one by one to see if they are the type of if they give you the right of channels you're looking for and um, the thing to keep in mind is that you don't interact with a web browser at all other than clicking the links you don't do anything else you shouldn't do anything else simply click the links such as this one for example and you can inspect them to see if there are any M3U8 links listed uh, there, it seems that there are a few so in this case you would click process site content and uh, the app will do its work as before it may or it may not find any links the thing is that it, it, it's actually finding a lot of links but only a small percentage of them are valid and uh, those that are invalid it just ignores Ok. Hanno cambiato binario, devo andare. Allora ci vediamo appena torno, fra tre giorni. And uh, this last option, uploading a file, is the third option. So this is when you have a saved file. And um, since we saved the file, um, I could select this one. And doing so will just trigger another. But But since those channels exist, actually, so it won't... Uh, you know that's why that's why the processing went by so fast because that you know all the all the duplicates are not are, are rejected so but it was just to show you that how uploading works okay now lastly this is the video tutorial button this is where this tutorial is going to appear and uh, in this flyout you're going to have the same information in written format so that you don't forget words like M3U8 and Xtinf, which as you might remember 
those are the keywords that you enter ahead of the main keyword or the keyword that you want the, the channels to be related to uh, when doing this search or your own search. So thank you for watching this lengthy tutorial. Uh, I wish you a, a lot of fun with this app and uh, please leave your comments below the video and uh, please rate and uh, preferably review the app. Thanks again. Bye for now.